Hello everyone, welcome back to Hexalogic. Last time we finished the 90th standard level, and now we just have three trios of bonus levels left to complete. And so I'm going to start with this one because I think this was, yes, the rules where we have our equals and less than greater than signs. This is the mechanic I probably had the easiest time with. So let's see what we can do here. This needs to be bigger than this. This can only be a two or a three. So it doesn't really do much for me immediately. 14 here. We have six and eight. Uh, we have six and four makes 10, leaves four more. So that means Is that not 14? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Are we still on hard mode? Is that why I'm not seeing the results? A 14 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, it's because the equal sign required a left side and right side balance, of course. Okay, then three is going to be smaller than whatever this is, which must be at least four. That three gets finished off in that manner. That's got to be at least four, but that's got to be at least that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 3 is larger than 1. 1. Is smaller than 2. 14 is solved. 1 and 1. That's all of that. Good. Number 2. Alright. These ones with the colours all become the same thing. And... This has to be a 2, because if it was a 3, 2 pair to make the 5 complete, this 3 can never resolve, because we have 3 in one and nothing in the other. So, that's our 2, that's our 3. That 1 finishes that there. Uh, this is 2, so this number must be greater than that, although we don't know how much greater, but this must be smaller, which is 1. That's going to equal 1, and... 4 is going to be greater than 3. 7 needs 2 more, at least in each cell. It could be 3 and 1. That's not going to work out because this 9 needs to be at least five more than we currently have here. It's five, six, seven, eight. Still need one more. That's that done. Right, last one with this mechanic. got a three there, four there, 17 is just colossal, five here needs to be a two three combo, three here needs to be a one two combo, this number needs to be three, because the only way we can have this be larger on this side than that side is if this is two and this is three so that is fixed that means that's three which is great that gives us the four seven here is going to need three and one or two and two doesn't tell me anything really in conjunction with the five 17 now has seven on it so we need five more out of these which is going to be at least 2, 
on all of these, and then two more of them need to be a three. This one has to be three, because three has to be bigger than two. Six needs two more, that solves the four and the three. Three is going to be equal to three here, and two there for the five. One there for the three equals four against four, but that's going to be three. That's one there. Eight here is going to be three and three. Eight there is going to need four more, which is troubling. What didn't we get to with this 17? This 17 is too big, so that's going to be two. No, that has to be three. screwed up somewhere this eight is a problem so where did we start here we said this had to be a three because this three has to be bigger than that two then that four goes one and three What else? Instead of this 17 here, we had 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need 10 more out of these 4 cells. That's going to be 2, 2, 2, and 2. And then 2 of them need to be 3s. I just don't know which yet necessarily. This has to be bigger than that. So that's one of them. It's bigger than those. That solves all of this stuff. So I need one of these twos to be a three. Can't be this one. Can't be that one. Can't be that one. How can it not be any of them? Your fixtures are one. Your three bigger than two. Your two and two makes four. You're three and one. You can't be two. You can't be three. You can be. But then that breaks that one. Because these. Oh, wait. This equal sign is the whole width, not these two cells. Okay. So if this is four, that's four. Two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight here is one, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, good stuff. So we have three puzzles up here, right at the very top. I assume they're going to be the most difficult ones. And I have three more hiding around here. We did those. It's these three. So we've got the stone blocks that can't change, and then these ones all count upwards together. This five is going to be a two-three pair. The two has to be contributing to the three. The three gets an extra one. Simple enough to start. What else can we do? Fourteen here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could be any number of contributions to get to the remaining eight. 
and by eight I don't mean eight, I mean seven. This is a two-one pair. Where's my next limitation? I need five out of this. If I need five out of this, it can either be three, one, one, or it can be two, two, one. Let's say it was three, one, one. That puts a one in this tile for a 14. That gives us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can reach 14 with that. And that's the only other number that's impacted. If we did it the other way, on this 17, this is now a 1, that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need ten more out of these. Which is a three, three, two, two. So it has to go that way because this four can't have a three. Of course it can. It can have a three within it. I don't know why I would think differently. Reset me. So we know this is two, this is three, that's one. If that's true, then this 14 gets six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This four gets two and two, this five gets two and three. That's a lot more to go off of. This 15 has six, seven, eight, nine. We need six more out of three. This can't be a three. This can be a one or a two because of this. 15, six, seven, eight, nine, six more, one or a two, one or a two, one or a two. It could be like two, one, three is valid. If we do it that way though, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can't make 14 here. So that means that must be a two. Ten here gets one extra. Three needs one. That needs three. Fourteen has three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen here. How over prescribed are you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We need way more in this column. That's one, two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I need one more. Not there. not there. I need one less along here now. No, I've just completely biffed it again. So again, with the facts that we know, Ugh. Five 
is a two, three, that's one, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four gets two and two, five gets two and three. This is six, seven, eight. We need nine more from these. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one of these gets to be a three. That's a much better way of working with this because that means that must be Oh, hello. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is too much. So that must be the three, that must be the ones. So four gets two more. This four needs Oh, that can't work out. How does that not work out? Ugh. Is it because I can do... I don't know how I destroyed this so badly. That gets two. Seventeen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we need nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could have three, three, two, one rather than two, 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 three. That's where I went wrong on that. So where's the logic? Find the logic. 14 here has 5, 6, 7, 8. We need 6 more across 3. That doesn't help me. This has to be a 2 and a 1. So this has to be a... It's either that or that. It's one of the two. But that doesn't help me right now. This needs to be five. Okay. If this needs to be five out of three, and this can't be a three because of this, then this is a... Even if this is a one, this could be a pair of twos. If this is a two, this could be a two and a one. also doesn't help me. I just know that th if this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is one way round of doing it. If we do it this way round, then this 17 currently has six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We could still fit it in. That would go two. That would have to go two. One, two, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One here makes for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Three here. Three there. So it would have to be that way round. If we're having three here and three here, but we have to make four. Ten gets five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fourteen gets five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Four needs three more. And that solves the puzzle. And that was only the first of those. Oh, God. Interesting. No. 
colors, no clone cells, just a plain as can be puzzle. This is unexpected. Where are we going to start? I feel like all of these fours must have. I guess it's either going to be 311, 222, or 311. If it was 311, this needs 12. We need 10 more out of these. That could be done. So that doesn't help me. I've got no threes and fives that overlap. Well, this, uh, this 12 has a five on it. And this can't be a three. Because you can't have a three and two ones creating a four. So we know that that's a two and that's a three. That's a given. That's a great start. What else do we know? Right, if this is seven, seven less three is four. If this was a three and a one. We could still make six here with one, one, one. So that doesn't help us particularly yet. Oh, but we know that this four must be two, one, one. And this four must be one and three. And this six must be three, one, one, one. And this seven is going to be three, one, one. 3. Then this 10 can either be a 3 1 or a pair of 2s. This 9 has 1, 2, 3, 4. So this needs to be a 5. If this is a 3 1, does this mean we can't catch up to this 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have no idea if this is going to work out. And now I'm just going by the numbers. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's real hopeful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. We've got there. That's the more mechanics I was expecting. So these three gold cells will always have the same number. These two blue cells will have the same number. Got lots of high totals on the outside edges. As ever, where do we begin? This three has to be a two one pair. If it's that way, then this has to be. 333, three, which makes that 2. And this 12 becomes 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which can't be. So then this 3 must be 2 there, 1 there. So then this goes 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That gold one is solved. So this 14 gets 6, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. come to oh no we can go one and two there not that that impacts the rest of the puzzle but it's done right this 10 has four 
which means we need six more out of five cells, which must be, we can't do three in a cell because that won't ever make up to 10. So, they must all be one, apart from one of them, that will be two in that line. Which one that is, we don't know yet. And is it the blue one is the most important question. Well, the rest of this isn't going to impact the blue. So we should be able to solve this section without any further assistance because the other parts of the puzzle don't impact this. So with that in mind, we need four across here. We need six across here. 14 needs seven, 10 needs eight. This is a two, three pair. If we do that that way, that's gonna be three and three. That gets two. So that's that done. Now we can come back over to the gargantuan side. The biggest number to work with is 14. This three is guaranteed. So we need 11 out of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then three of them need to be threes. Which is not helping me because one of these needs to be a two. What about down here? We've got six of seven, 13, so we need seven here. That can be three, two, two. It can be three, three, one. If that four is guaranteed and this two is either a two or a three, that's either going to be a one or a two. This 12 currently has six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we need one more somewhere. So that means that these two can't be both of the outliers on the 10 and the 14. Eleven here now has three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven could work as a pair of threes. This five might possibly need a three there. Then how's this eleven doing? Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that actually means that's our two. That ten is solved. That two needs to match up for this four. That's seven. Now it could get a three from here because one of these needs to be a three and another one of these needs to be a two, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No. And one over subscribes. Interesting. I don't know where I've made two errors there, but I must have, right? I don't want to give this side up. This is given because of this. So we know this 14 is one there. This 10 has four, so it needs six more. It's gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one of them will be a two for a 10. 
This 14 has 3, which makes it down to 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Three of these are threes, and one of them is not. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, minus 1 for 14. I wish I could make slightly more intricate notations. <laughs> that four is happy. This eleven has three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven could work out. Seven could get three. Thirteen is now nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen makes up the eight. This ten is three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This twelve is one, four, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Wait. This 12 is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have to drop one out of there, put it in there. That's our 14 done. That's our 13 done. So the 7 gets one more. This 10 now has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So where can we lose one? This 10 is happy, this 14 happy, this 13 is happy. This 12 is happy. This 10 has too much in it. to take one out of somewhere for this 10. But where? Because wherever it comes out of, I have to make it up. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. All right. Well, then, I think apart from we've done these, we did those as we gently rise up through the jungle canopy, we did these three. We go up, we go up. We did those three. We go past those three, seeing the spiraling pillar of civilization. We did these three. We did those. So it just remains, I think, these three here. So join me next time and we will try out these three final puzzles, see how stuck on those we get. And then I think we will be done with Hexalogic. But for now, thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.